friends welcome back to the canada info up channel my name is wolo and i live in winnipeg winterpeg manitoba canada and if this is the first time you are seeing this video just give me thumbs up and subscribe to this channel or i'll put it in a better way destroy the like button anyway how are you guys doing um i hope you're doing well and i am hoping that you're okay everything is okay um there are no issues around your area you know just block anything negative out of your space anything negative anything that will affect your happiness and your mind just block it and think of only the positive things in your life so welcome back to today's video um this week has been an exciting one there has been several um, updates concerning immigration and one of them is the french language points which has been increased i put it up on the insta stories of this channel and the second one is drum roll the number of immigrants that will be admitted into canada between 2021 and 2023 is now 1.2 million before it was 1 million but it has now been increased to 1.2 million and it was announced today so by the time you will see this video you'll be seeing it tomorrow i've already updated the instagram page if you're not following me there please follow me there because that's where i quickly update um anything that happens immediately and i also try to update on this channel as well i've also created a twitter account and linkedin but i've not been posting on those places regularly it's not easy managing several social media accounts and then responding to too many comments and then responding to too many emails which please forgive me if i've not responded to your email just forgive me i'll try to find time to you know clear all the backlogs um hopefully this weekend so yeah back to today's topic one not so good news which is alberta alberta they have been funny they are just really been funny and they announced that they will ban temporary foreign workers and i remember one time new brunswick did the same thing but guess what it was just stories at the end of the day they reversed that ban and started allowing people so alberta has done the same thing you will be seeing the publication on the page here Alberta has done the same thing by banning temporary foreign workers. About 475 professions are currently banned, so people cannot get LMIA and uh, people cannot get work permit under those occupations. They've not listed the occupations yet, but they exempted like four occupations, and these four occupations they can go ahead and apply for work permit if they get a job offer. Um, and then still get a work permit and work in Alberta. And these occupations are the agricultural sector, then you have the IT sector, and then you have the home child caregiver sector. And think one more, I can't remember whether I can't, I don't think I'm remembering it, but one more sector was also banned. But the others, they said they want to start training people in Alberta to work. So that they can pick up those jobs they are conserving the jobs for albertans who are out of jobs this is so funny for me you know why it's so funny because um alberta is one very unique province it's is the uh would i call it the biggest oil and gas province in canada that's why you have lots of people moving to alberta staying in calgary but because of the oil and gas downturn it has affected jobs and you know somebody who has worked in the oil and gas sector before earning hundred thousand dollars one hundred twenty thousand dollars i mean i'm talking about people who do not even have any form of university degree they just go to work in the oil sands work in fracking and they are taking away like 120k 150k whereas in other provinces people do not earn as much as that Alberta used to be the highest earning province and that has affected their lifestyle. So you see them earning this huge amount of money. They are buying big, big houses, buying Mercedes Benz, buying snowmobile, buying all sorts of things. And then when the oil and gas price goes down, they lose their jobs. They are not able to sustain their lifestyle. And guess what? They will not go and pick up a McDonald's job. Neither will they go and pick up a farming job that is paying $19 per hour, especially when they were earning $50 per hour. 
So there is a dilemma and I was just looking at the Twitter page of the premiere when he made the announcement. The people were just tweeting lots of things and I was just laughing at the tweets because it was so funny to me that a lot of people were saying that who will go and pick up a Tim Hortons job? Who will go and pick up a, a McDonald's job? after earning 120,000 then you want to come as that earning $20,000 per annum and most of them refuse to pick up those jobs they'll rather sit on employment insurance until they find something suitable or they retrain into another um, industry where they can get something better or something commensurate to what they used to earn before so that's why some people are saying yes ban the temporary foreign workers from coming to take our jobs in fact there's this saying that immigrants are stealing uh, Canadian jobs. So you have this group of people who were high earners, six figures earners, and then they have no jobs all of a sudden. They will not stoop low to go and pick up a $19 job. Never. They will rather sit on employment insurance. And when you have so many people on employment insurance, it affects the economy. They need people to work to contribute taxes into the system. So some people are saying small businesses will die if the government or if the premier bans temporary foreign workers they will not be able to find workers to come and do those jobs canadians are refusing to do whereas some canadians are saying yes it is good for the economy ban the people ban ban foreign workers from coming to take our jobs so many people are sitting unemployed and are refusing to pick up just any job and you won't blame them so this temporary foreign worker ban i don't think it's gonna work for alberta i don't think it's gonna work because those big guys i mean they are big guys they are top earners nobody will want to leave his high position to go and pick up those jobs and that's why some group of people are advocating seriously that it's not gonna work it's not gonna be possible they need foreign workers to come and do the jobs most canadians are refusing to take yes most canadians are refusing to take certain jobs and that's why you see immigrants especially the filipinos the indians i mean once they pick up those jobs they don't complain they go ahead and do those jobs perfectly well even earning less than what they are supposed to earn and they don't complain about it and yet you still see some canadians saying ban temporary foreign workers anyway if you're planning to land in alberta you might be in serious competition so just be very careful um and you have to re-strategize again and think of the province you have to land in before you choose alberta in addition to that there has also been cuts several cuts in the healthcare sector to the point that most of the doctors are running away from the province they want to go and practice elsewhere they don't want to practice in alberta again and people are just complaining up and down it's no longer as exciting as it used to be but hopefully we pray things bounce back because i also i would have loved to move to calgary you know <laughs> i would have loved to move to calgary or edmonton well, edmonton no, edmonton is like winnipeg i don't want edmonton calgary i would have loved to move to calgary but the job loss is not encouraging over there i don't want to go there and then start running back to winnipeg or go elsewhere anyway so that's the information i want to share today please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me thumbs up yeah give me some thumbs up i need those thumbs up and um see you in my next video Bye bye